This is going to be a um, short video on how to um, create a banner animation that you could put at the top of my web page. Um, if you've been to dancecourses.com recently, you've seen I've put a um, kind of a promotion to uh, for my students to make an animation for the top of the website and also um, for the digital imaging students, the Photoshop students, to put a logo on the left hand top portion of the website. I'll just go there really quickly to show everybody. See how fast our internet action is here. Not that fast, probably. Fortunately. Okay. Um, all right, there we have it. So there's the website, right? And as you can see, there is um, this area at the top here where over here the Photoshop students will put a logo. And then on the right-hand side, students could put a... Um, an animation and you'll see here that there already this piece right here that that you can see when I roll over it this is a flash movie right here this is a flash swif or dot swf file and um, what you're gonna do is try to make a little animation that's the same size so that I can stick it in right here on the top of the website and then that'll be your animation at the top of my website Wouldn't that be cool alright let's take a look at how I just made that little piece here it is in flash okay and uh, first thing about that I want to talk about with this Adobe CS4, by the way, I've only used the Adobe CS4 a handful of times. I've been, um, I've used CS3 mainly for the last two years, so um, CS4 is kind of new to me, um, but they're all the same really, so uh, we can figure it out. So one thing I'm going to do right off the bat is I'm going to go to Window, and I'm going to go to Workspace, and I'm going to change it to Classic, with my guess being that Classic will make it look more like Adobe CS3. So I'm going to do that, and sure enough, now it looks a lot more like Adobe CS3, so Flash CS3. So you can see now the toolbar is on the left-hand side, the timeline and the layers are on the top, the um, stage is down here at the bottom, and then I've got property windows and options and things like that for my tools on the right-hand side. Okay, and, uh, um, and it says up at the top here, if I put this over a little bit farther, then I'm in classic mode. If I wanted to, I can switch right back to another mode for um, you know different types of projects. Okay. Um, the one thing I am going to need though is that property window, and I used to, I like to have the property window usually at the bottom, but it's not at the bottom. So whatever, go figure. Um, let's see here. Maybe we can expand that out. All right. And first thing I want to talk about is this movie right here is um, uh, wide and narrow uh, well it's wide and not very tall okay and so if um, if I I've got my black selection tool I'm gonna click on the background here and um, in the in the properties window on the right hand side you'll see that the size is 600 by 90 pixels. So that's the first thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make a file that's 600 by 90. Now one way you can set that is by saying modify document and when you say modify document should open up a window which enables you to um, change the properties of the document and there it is. I can set it to 600 by 90 and I can set the frame rate. Right now the frame rate is set to 24 frames per second um, we can lower that down or speed it up. Um, it's up to you. Uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. Okay, I'll hit cancel. The stage color is, um, uh, the background color is right now like a tan color. And what that means is if I turn these eyeballs off on layer 3, layer 2, and layer 1, you'll see that the background color of the stage, I'm going to hold down the space bar and move this around, hold down, keep your finger on the space bar and you can kind of move the stage around. You see that the background is set to tan. I can change that to any color I want. I'll change it back to white. There it is. Now it's white. Okay. And you'll see how I laid out this piece was I have the bottom layer here. I'm going to turn the eyeball back on and I'm going to unlock it to show you that what it is is this uh, background layer is a um, actually a shape, right? Let's see here. It's a shape. When I select it, click on it, it says shape and it's the right size. It's um, 600 by 90 and of course I can probably always change that to 600. Hit enter, make sure it stays at 600. 
its X position and Y position are zero, mean it's aligned to the upper left-hand corner of the stage perfectly. Okay, so its registration point is the upper left-hand corner, and it matches to the stage's upper left-hand corner. That's zero, zero. X going across this way gets bigger. Y going down gets bigger this way too, right? So this would be, let's say, X50, four, you know, 100, 200, 300, 400, all the way over to 600, and then Y, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, until I get to 90, right? 600 by 90. Um, all right, so this piece right here is a um, gradation from white to gray so that it matches the background of my web page. You see how it's kind of got this nice little gradient that goes from white until um, till a gray color? Well, I basically what I did was I did a screen capture of my web page, and I just created that little gradient so that it would match the background on the animation so that any animation I put here looks like it fits in perfectly with the background of my web page. Okay, um, and back to Flash. And then on the next layer, I'll turn the eyeball off on that so it goes back on. I just put a green outline. All right, and I'll show you that. I'm going to lock the background layer so I don't mess it up. And it's what it is is it's just a little box here, a little um, outline, right? I can drag it around. Right? If I just go up to it and click and drag, whoop, I messed it up. Edit undo. All right. If I want to put it back in place, I double click on it and I can go over here to X and change that to zero and Y and change that to zero and then hit enter and it moves back in place perfectly aligned to the upper left hand corner. And I just did that so that you could kind of see the boundary when I showed it to you here, see the boundary of the image. Right? If I didn't have it, it would look seamless here. You wouldn't be able to tell that it's a flash movie right there. It would be kind of hidden. All right. And then on the next layer, if I turn the eyeball on that and lock this layer, um, I put some text right here, a text box. And this is some lines, just some lines that I drew. This is an oval uh, outline with no fill. And there's some more text. And that's it. So that's the three layers that I created. How do you create layers? Um, depending what layer you're on, you just I'll just select the top layer, you go down here, click here and there, oh, make a new layer, make a new layer, and then you can actually drag those layers and replace them based on which one you want to be on top. Right now layer three is on top, background's at the bottom, right? So um, I'm going to delete layer five, which has nothing on it. How do I know it has nothing on it? The keyframe here is empty, you see that? So, and I'll just click this little trash can, and now layer 5 is gone, and layer 4 I just made, I'm going to delete that, click this little trash can, highlight it first, and click a little trash can, it's gone. Okay, so um, once again you can rearrange these layers, I'll lock that. If I put the background layer on top, you're not going to see the text, right? Um, and so I'll put that background layer back at the bottom, all right? Anyway, this is kind of an introductory movie on how you're going to start working with this banner. And I'm going to give you a file to work with to make it a little bit easier. But uh, I'll do that in the next movie.